nature is made possible by the financial support of viewers like you, your gas company, and America's natural gas industry, who have developed ways to run buses, cars, and trucks on clean natural gas in order to reduce pollution and help preserve the environment. And by Siemens Engineering Solutions in Electronic Components and Medical Systems, Telecommunications, Energy, and Automation, Siemens, and by Canon, quality and innovation for the way we work and live. It's sunset on the African plains, but with the fading light, a new day is just beginning for the hunters of the night. Under cover of darkness, they stalk the savanna for those who think it's safe to sleep. Predators often live in groups, working together to chase, capture, and kill their prey. Almost all of these groups are ruled by males, but there is one species, the spotted hyena, which lives in societies controlled by strong, dominant females. Females that are both mothers and leaders at the same time. Close family ties and cooperation make this group of predators one of the most efficient and highly organized of all. They were once thought to be lazy scavengers. We now know that these hyenas are hunters, first and foremost. The African night is filled with voices, growls, moans, whoops, and cackles. These weird calls, so varied they sound almost like a language, are merely the dinner conversation of the spotted hyena. A clan, a sisterhood of hunters, feasts on the steaming carcass they have brought down together in the dark. Okavango River is like no other. Its waters never reach the sea, but spill instead into the golden sands of the Kalahari Desert. This great inland delta is the largest oasis in Africa, and animals, unexpected in a desert, converge at its fertile edges. Emerald reed beds host great numbers of fish and frogs, which yellow-billed storks come to stalk. In this idyllic landscape, food is plentiful. The hyenas of Okavango are finishing off another kill. They eat in a hurry, for their commotion attracts competitors. 
jackals and vultures arrive at the scene. But only one other animal intimidates them, the lion. All carnivores scavenge from each other, but lions rule the complex and uneasy hierarchy among the meat eaters. A silverback jackal waits to dart in. But the lion finds little meat. Hyenas can devour an entire carcass in a mere 10 minutes. Only bones and gristle clutter the ground to be pulverized by the hyena's iron jaws. Hyenas can break bones that even lions cannot crush. They return to their kill for a final course of bone marrow. Every part of the carcass is consumed, down to the last leg. Uniquely designed for their hunter-scavenger role, the hyena is a physical oddity. It resembles a dog, or perhaps a cat, with a bit of bear thrown in. Yet, hyenas are a separate family, unrelated to dogs or cats. The waters of the Okavango Delta are a refuge during the long and severe dry seasons of the Kalahari. The Delta is alive with fish. Egrets and hammer cops hunt in the daylight using their sharp eyesight. But sunset is approaching. The end of the day for some predators is the beginning for others, including African wild dogs. The evening light is said to have a terrible beauty as it signals to the predators that they must set out to hunt. Lilac-breasted rollers have retired for the day and are roosting now. Helmeted guinea fowl hide in the thorny bush. And in the cool night air, the sisterhood emerges. Adult hyenas are congregating at the den. A single clan can be up to 80 strong, and elaborate greeting ceremonies help sort out the social relationships among them. The ceremony itself is a show of trust. A cub greeting an adult female begins with some anxious bowing, followed by careful sniffing and mutual inspection. Females are larger and more aggressive than males. Even the lowest-ranking female has more social status than the top-ranking male. Females even possess genital organs that mimic a male's, making it difficult to tell the sexes apart. After a long day spent in the protection of the den, the cubs are ready to cut loose. Their play helps set the order of rank among them. In their childish wrestling lie the patterns of their future standing in clan society.
Cubs are never far from an entrance to the den. At one hole, two tiny cubs, only a week old, wait for their mother's return. The den serves as a home base for the clan. Hyenas are territorial, but do not roam as a pack. They wander alone or in small groups and range up to 50 miles from the den. For such a flexible and dispersed group, the den is an important meeting place and socializing strengthens the bonds between individuals. Mothers and their offspring are the stable center of clan life. Young males may leave the clan when they're about two years old to find a place in another group. If accepted, they might rise to mating status in the new clan. Hyenas make excellent mothers, devoted and remarkably gentle. Those powerful jaws are capable of crushing the bones of an elephant. Usually, a mother suckles only her own cubs. This young and inexperienced female allows two young opportunists to latch on to handy nipples. Eventually, she'll need to chase the interlopers away so that her own cubs will have enough milk to survive. The females keep all the cubs together at the communal den. Even though many of the cubs are more than six months old, they're still dependent on milk. Mothers do not bring food back to the den, and the cubs will be eight or nine months old before they begin to visit kills. Even then, they must learn to hunt. They may not be fully weaned until they're 18 months old. This long babyhood requires constant attention from the mothers. In a den nearby, a porcupine prepares for its own maternal duties. The birth is quick and the baby is born active and alert. Lions, leopards and hyenas are their natural predators. Well-developed young are less vulnerable to such dangerous enemies. The newborn already possesses its first bristles, which will harden within a few hours after birth. It will nurse for a week or two, and then begin to follow its mother on foraging trips for roots and tubers.
Sometimes hyenas and porcupines vie for possession of a den site that was probably dug by aardvarks in the first place. Hyenas will take a porcupine if they can, but porcupines have effective armor and stand their ground. The sidelong charge of an adult porcupine is a serious threat. The quills are sharp and can be deadly. But the porcupine mother is just being protective of her own spiny youngster. The cubs are curious, but quick to show respect for the rattling quills. Luckily, the porcupines won't need this den for long and will soon move on. A clan's territory may contain several dens. A pregnant hyena will inspect a burrow with care before selecting a place for her cubs. Perhaps to ease the discomfort of her labor, she rolls on the ground outside the chosen den. She's close to giving birth now. Her four-month pregnancy is at an end, and two more youngsters are about to join the clan. Unlike the young of most carnivores, hyena cubs are born with their eyes open and their little bodies are strong and mobile. Their advanced development enables their mother to leave them while she hunts. No other adults will share in feeding them. The cubs will depend on her alone for milk. But now she's exhausted and the new family settles down to sleep. Away from the den, the sisterhood is on the prowl. In the darkness, their sloping backs look misshapen, their purpose sinister. But it's just the clan setting off on border patrol. All clan members help mark and protect the territory, making individual contributions to the group's communal scent. Sticky secretions from glands beneath their tails and between their four toes are deposited on grasses and twigs. Marking parties check the invisible borders on a regular basis to be sure there have been no infringements. Territorial disputes among rival hyena clans are serious affairs. Strangers caught trespassing are brutally attacked and often killed. With rising excitement, the group detects the foreign scent of an intruder. Only this clan is allowed to make its mark here. That an outsider has dared to do so triggers the ritual of a grand social sniff, a united expression of indignation.
This clan's territory spans about 30 square miles of Okavango, and within it, there's a village. Evening around the fire is the time for music and storytelling. Folklore holds that hyenas are in league with witch doctors and are agents of the supernatural. Their wanderings in the night, their odd appearance and eerie voices have led people to link them with the dead. <laughs> But hyenas are no ghosts. Their chief interest is in the possibility of a handout or what others throw away. When the village is asleep, a few members of the sisterhood grow bold. Sometimes they're lucky. Sometimes they're outwitted. And sometimes, finding nothing to eat, they resort to a little mischief. Other members of the clan have found the moldering remains of an elephant. If ever an animal could get blood from a stone, the hyena is it. The powerful muscles of its jaws apply almost a ton of pressure to a square inch of bone. Specialized teeth slice through dry hide like knives. At one meal, a hyena can eat about a third of its own body weight. In their role as scavengers, hyenas have cleansed the savanna for 20 million years. African wild dogs also hunt in the evening for the same prey. In the hierarchy of predators, however, they're outranked by the powerful hyena. The dogs are much smaller, but their large packs enable them to bring down big game.
the hyenas are quickly attracted to the kill made by the pack of wild dogs. With only a few dogs on the scene, the hyenas easily commandeer the carcass for themselves. The dogs must stand aside, helpless, until the arrival of reinforcements. The ruckus of hyenas squabbling as they feed soon attracts the rest of the hunting dog team, and they regain control of the kill. Now outnumbered, the hyenas can expect a bite on the backside for every stolen morsel. Daybreak in Okavango. After a few hours sleep, the predators rise to take advantage of the coolest part of the day. Twittering with excitement, the dogs call to their pups at the entrance to the den. Although wild dogs and hyenas have much in common, their family life is very different. In the dog pack, there's only one mother, and remarkably, she has as many as 19 in her litter. A sharp contrast with each female hyena's carefully nurtured too. With so many mouths to feed, the dogs must set off again to hunt. The pack closes in on a group of impalas.
At the kill, the dogs eat as fast as they can before lions or hyenas can disturb the feast. But hyenas are less aggressive by day. Besides, a single clan member is no match for the pack. The dogs are quick to harass a lone rival, and a thornbush affords an uncomfortable but effective retreat. It protects the rear, while those formidable teeth and jaws repel attack. But the wild dogs continue to hound the unfortunate hyena and are eager to assert themselves over their disadvantaged enemy. Together, they succeed. With the pack away from the den, the pups are vulnerable. Usually, at least one adult remains on guard for hyenas are not the only dangerous adversary. The white-headed vulture sits ready to grab some of the food that will be brought back here by the pack and regurgitated to the waiting pups. The lioness will take no pups today. The pack is returning, and not even a lion wants to take on a scolding mob of African wild dogs. The late morning becomes quiet and peaceful. The lions, dogs, and hyenas will rest now and wait until the cool of the evening to hunt again. But a different, solitary predator now hides a kill in the tall grass. Tail erect at the excitement of scenting blood on the breeze, a young hyena finds itself caught between the aggressive instinct to rob the cheetah of its meal and its own inexperience and lack of confidence. A full-grown adult, however, doesn't hesitate, and the cheetah is easily intimidated and driven off. The slender cat has difficulty competing with more aggressive carnivores. Once its kill is discovered, it's usually lost.
Nightfall finds the clan at its evening meal. But tonight, a certain tension runs through the group. A young male which has been trying to join the clan has teamed up with the clan's second ranking male. Together, they might challenge the dominant male and upset the current hierarchy in the group. They circle around the outskirts of the clan. The intruder cautiously scent marks with the glands between his paws. Finally, the fight is on. Others are drawn to the fight and the alpha male is soon battling for his supremacy. He's down, and the allegiance of the clan, including some of his own offspring, changes immediately. Now the once dominant male can only struggle to escape with his life. He limps off to obscurity. He may stay with the clan, but will be reduced to living at its fringes. The new alpha male now has the status to make sexual overtures to a large, imposing female. She takes no notice, however, and merely ignores his advances. A cub, uncertain about just what has taken place among the adults, seeks reassurance. Too immature to scent mark with real glandular secretions, it acts out the grown-up behavior anyway. The new alpha male is still trying to gain the female's attention. She remains unimpressed. Like all the females, she's much larger and tougher than the males. She has to lead the clan, hunt, rear cubs, and fight off other hyenas from rival groups. As night unfolds on the savanna, toadstools bloom in the moonlight. The hyenas have made a discovery, a nest of ostrich eggs. But the eggs don't give up their prize contents easily even to the steely jaws of the hyena. With squeals and chirps, the youngsters make a game of it. But the enormous eggs are worth serious attention. Each one is the equivalent of 25 to 30 chicken eggs.
knocking the eggs together finally succeeds in breaking one open. There's a hunter's moon tonight, and the lions rise and stretch in cool anticipation. and confident, the dominant predators set off in unhurried silence. The sisterhood, too, has begun to hunt. Zebras scatter in all directions, braying in alarm. The clan pits speed. Hyenas converge out of the dark, and the zebras are outnumbered and confused. Their desperate defense is to no avail. The rest of the zebra herd takes flight, only to present a perfect target for the lions. The lioness has missed her usual stranglehold on the throat, and the two are now in a deadly contest of strength. The zebras continue to strike out as hyenas gather at the kill. Those that can eat the fastest eat the most. <laughs> Members of the sisterhood do compete with each other, but there are still rules to control the violence of a feeding frenzy. Still locked in a grim embrace, the zebra struggles for its life, just as the lioness struggles for the meat she needs to sustain her own. The defeated zebra will feed the entire pride. This is no feeding frenzy, but a sedate midnight feast. But if the prey were smaller, the lions would fight over their food. And unlike the hyenas, it would be for real.
Whenever one of the plane's carnivores has made a kill, others will come running to contest the prize. Hyenas emerge out of the shadows with savage roars, war whoops, and fearsome growls, intending, it seems, to drive off the lions with sound. Only lions outrank hyenas in the pecking order of predators, and the hyenas press a constant challenge. These young males are more easily intimidated by the furious noise and snapping jaws. The loss of their meal will not be forgotten and will fuel the deep hatred that adult lions seem to possess for all hyenas. Suddenly, there's an unexpected shift in the power struggle. Perhaps the lions have become unnerved by the hyena's relentless aggression. But such humiliation will not go unavenged. <laughs> Many others in the sisterhood will meet this sudden death as they keep up their rivalry with the King of Beasts. The confrontation is over, and quiet settles over the darkness. The lions have re-established their authority and move on.
Peace is restored. An African night comes to a close. But the hyenas and lions will confront each other again, fighting for prey and for dominion over the rich delta of Okavango. Nature is made possible by the financial support of viewers like you. And by Siemens Engineering Solutions in electronic components and medical systems. Telecommunications, energy and automation. Siemens. And by Canon. Quality and innovation for the way we work and live. And by the gas industry. Helping provide cleaner air with clean gas energy.